Praise God. Chvála Bohu. I'm so happy to be here with you. A srečan som, što mogu byť i večera s ovde sa váma. And you guys smile, I love it. A vy si si smiešite, svidia mi si to. It's nice when a lot of smiling faces are looking at you when you're preaching. Lepo je chad vás puno nasmiešených líc a gledajú dok propovedate. So we're going to have a good time this week, amen? Tako da ćemo reaktivno da se provedemo ove nedelje. I just ask you that you open your heart to every message. Samo tražim od vas da otvorite svoja srca za svaku poruku. And that you open your spirit to Jesus Christ so he can do something inside of you. I da otvorite svog duha za Isusa Hrista da bi on mogao da uradi nešto u vama. One of the worst things that can happen jedna od najgorih stvari koja može da se desi is to hear preaching but not leave changed. Da je da čujete propoved ali da odete ne promenjeni. One of the best things that can happen jedna od najboljih stvari koja može da se desi is when I come in one way je da kad dođem na jedan način and I leave another. So I declare to you tonight tako da izjavljujem večeras that you will go as far as you let God take you. According to your hunger, so it be to you. How far will you let Jesus take you tonight? You're doing great. How far will you let Jesus take you through Friday? Because depending on how bad you want it, Jesus will answer your prayer. Does anybody believe that with me here in this place? I want you to lift your hands and your heart to Jesus right now. I want you to begin to open your mouth and begin to confess to Jesus. I want you to begin to say, Jesus, I want to never be the same when I leave this place. God, I feel Jesus all over this place. The Spirit of the Lord is in this place. The power and the anointing is in the house. Come on, let's go a little deeper. Begin to open your heart to God right now. Osjetio sam da želim da podelim neke stvari sa vama dok sam slavio. The Lord began to remind me of my own life when I was at a youth camp at home. Gospod je počeo da me podsjeća na moj stari život kada sam ja bio na omladinskom kampu kod kuće. You see, I didn't always used to be like this. Vidite, nisam ja uvijek bio ovakav. 
at 15, 16, and 17 years old, I really kind of strayed from church, walked away from church. My identity got wrapped up with, with sports and athletics. And as most of you know, when you play sports, you kind of hang out with that group or that crowd. I kao što znate, kada igrate neki sport, uglavnom se družite sa tim ljudima, sa tom ekipom. And I began to find myself doing things that I probably shouldn't have done. I počeo sam da radim neke stvari koje najvjerovatnije nije trebalo da radim. And at the age of 16, I found myself on an altar repenting before God. I kada sam imao 16 godina, došao sam ka altaru i ispovedao sam svoje grehe Bogu. And my youth pastor prophesied over me and he said, God's got his hand on you, you need to change. A pastor, omladinski pastor je prorokovao na nadavnom i rekao je ti imaš Boži duh nad tobom i moraš da se promeniš. But you see at that moment I still was fighting it so hard. I wanted to do what I wanted to do unfortunately. But despite my stubbornness the Lord kept reaching for me. The Holy Ghost is here, I'm telling you. The Holy Ghost And the Lord kept reaching for me, and for that whole year I still ran from Him very hard. And the Lord in His mercy, even when I was full of sin, He spoke into my heart and said, you will change. And I didn't really understand it, but something in me jumped up and said yes. I didn't understand it because my flesh didn't want to, but my spirit said yes. And sometimes we have to find ourselves laying our self, our flesh, down so our spirit can get a hold of Jesus. That following year at 17 years old, I went to the youth camp again. But this time it was different. Ali ovoga puta bilo je drugačije. The very first night the Spirit of God slammed me in the altar. Prvo veče Duh Gospodnji me zakucao za altar. I was weeping and crying and, and just screaming out for God. Plakao sam i vapio i vrištao za Bogom. I knew it was time to make a change. Znao sam da je došlo vreme da napravim promjenu. I knew it was time to find my calling and step into it. Znao sam da je došlo vreme da nađem svoj poziv i da iskoračim. I knew there was people in my school that needed to hear about Jesus. Znao sam da postoje ljudi u mojoj školi koji moraju da čuju za Isusa. And I knew some of them I was their only voice. I znao sam da za neke od tih a gospod uprkos mom grehu u svojoj milosti je rekao sine i dalje te volim i želim te i neki od vas ste možda već bili ovde ranije But just like me at 17, if you will make up your mind, you will never be the same this week. It is not worth it. The world has nothing for you. I've been there and I tried it. It just leaves you hurt and broken. But when you pay the price and you lay yourself down, it is worth it for Jesus. Sorry, I don't know Serbian. I don't know where you're at. I'll help you if I could. Oh, Slavic. Serbian. Serbian. By the way, this is my beautiful wife, Melissa. My wife is from um, her family, her grandparents immigrated from Slovakia, so she's so happy to be here. Amen. So the Lord was working on me and his mercy was so powerful even though I kept rejecting. Tako da Gospod je radio na meni i njegova milost je bila toliko snažna iako sam ja nastavio da ga odbijam. 
And I understand that we need to be sent. I shvatam da moramo da budemo poslani. But before we can be sent, we need to work on a few things in our heart. Ali prije nego što ćemo biti poslani, moramo da radimo na nekim stvarima u našim srcima. God wants to prepare you and shape you so he can send you. Bog želi da te pripremi i oblikuje da bi mogao da te pošalje. But again, you cannot you cannot get to that place if you do not allow him to do it. Ali opet vam kažem, ne možete stići do tog mesta ako ne dozvolite da vas pošalje. It's about a choice. To je izbor. You have to decide today. I'm making a decision. Morate da odlučite danas pravim izbor. Where I will follow Jesus. Biram da ću da sledim Isusa. Things might get hard. Stvari će možda biti teške. Things might get tough. Možda će postati teško. Even my family might look at me differently. Možda će moja porodica drugačije da me gleda. My friends might neglect me. Možda će moji prijatelji da me zanemare. But I got a call that is greater than any cost that comes my way. Ali ja imam poziv koji je vredniji od svake cijene koja mi dolazi. Koja mi se nudi. That day at 17 years old I made a decision. Tog dana sa 17 godina napravio sam odluku. I said, Jesus, today I will never be the same. I'm telling you, I'm making the journey. Rekao sam, Isuse, nikada neću biti isti. Kažem ti, krećem na taj put. There's nothing special about me because God only looks for somebody to be available. Nema ništa posebno u vezi sa mnom jer Bog traži samo nekoga ko je dostupan. You don't have to be the smartest. Ne moraš biti najpametniji. You don't have to be the most educated or or the strongest. Ne moraš da budeš najobrazovaniji ili najjači. You must just make yourself available to Jesus and watch what he will do. Samo moraš da budeš dostupan za Boga i da gledaš šta će on da radi. And at that seven, at that point, at 17 years old, when I made that decision, I called my football coach. I said I'm not playing anymore. I told my baseball coach. Because when I made this decision, I was serious about this decision. I wanted to go all in for Jesus. There's no benefits on the fence. <laughs> you can either be on this side or you can be on this side. But when you go all in, I'm telling you, God will use you mightily. Ali kad se potpuno predaš, Bog će snažno da ti upotrebi. And I believe there are people in this place that are sitting in the same position as me back when I was 17 years old. I verujem da ovdje postoje ljudi koji sede na istoj toj poziciji na kojoj sam ja bio kada sam imao 17 godina. God's Spirit is calling. God's Spirit is working on your heart today, right now. Boži duh poziva. Boži duh radi na tebi upravo sada, danas. And He's simply looking for you to just make a step of faith and declare, Jesus, I know it might be hard, but I'm going that direction. I jednostavno samo očekuje od tebe da iskoračiš, da doneseš tu odluku Isuse, idem za toga. When I got home from the youth camp, I started telling my friends about Jesus. Kada sam se vratio sa omladinskom kampa, počeo sam da pričam ljudima o Isusu. I told them, I said, football is fun, it's great, but Jesus is so much better. Rekao sam, football je zabavan i to je super, a Isus je bolji. They looked at me like, what are you talking about? Because the Jesus I heard about is boring. A svi su me gledali onako zbunjeno, o čemu pričaš? Jer Isus o kome sam ja čuo je dosadan. And I said, well, I don't know which Jesus they told you about, but let me tell you about the real one. A ja sam rekao, ne znaš ko je to je Isus, ali ne znaš ko je to je Isus. Tako da sam ih odveo u crkvu. Some of them got filled with the gifts of the Holy Ghost. Neki su bili ispunjeni svjetim dukom. Some of them were baptized in the name of Jesus. Neki su bili krišteni na ime Isus. Some of them were healed in the name of Jesus. Neki su bili isceljeni u ime Isus. And something began to stir in that school. I nešto je počelo da se pokreće u toj školi. Because God is just looking for somebody to commit and make the step of faith and decide today. Jer Isus samo, Bog samo traži nekoga ko će da donese tu odluku i skorači danas. We must decide and make the choice and the decision it's worth it. Moramo da odlučimo i da donesemo tu odluku jer je to vredno toga. Jesus, lift your hands right now in this place. Podignite svoje ruke i slažite ga. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, work on the hearts and minds of the people, Father, that are struggling with the decision. Work on their hearts, Jesus, to make the choice and the decision that I will never be the same, and I'm going to step into this spirit of faith. I'm going to step into this new level, this new journey in the name of Jesus. Begin to prepare your heart for what God will do in your mind and spirit in the name of Jesus.
I told you that story because I wanted to see God do it in you because I knew he did it for me. Ja sam vam ispričao ovu priču jer želim da to Bog uradi za vas kao što je uradio za mene. God began to open up doors because I just made a decision and said I'm available. Bog je počeo da otvara vrata jer sam ja prosto doneo odluku i rekao sam ja sam dostupan. I noticed the map with a lot of uh, red tags. Primetio sam ovu mapu sa onim crvenim And I believe, who do you think are going to be the ones that put the new destination on those maps? Take your finger and go. Because God is looking to send some people to some great places. God wants to put some people on those maps to see what God will do in your life, but you have to allow him. Praise God. If you want to go to the book of the Bible, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, I want to read some things to you. Amen. If you got it, you just say amen. I'm going to with you. Amen. All right. Some people are catching up. <laughs> I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you about some things that might hold you back from making that commitment and that, that decision. Jesus. The Bible says in chapter 5 verse 17, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Ovdje u petoj glavi, u sedamnestom stihu kaže, Ako je dakle neko u Hristu novo stvorenje, staro je prošlo, evo novo je nastalo. And the Bible says, And all things are of God, who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, and hath given us to the ministry of reconciliation. A sve je od Boga, koji nas je kroz Hrista pomirio sa sobom i poverio nam službu pomirenja. To wit that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Jer Bog je u Hristu pomirio svet sa sobom, ne računajući ljudima njihove prestupe i nama poverjuši reč pomirenja. Now then, notice it says, now then, because of this, now then, we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God did beseech you by us, we pray you, in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. He's saying, be ye then back connected to God, be rejoined to God. Mi smo, dakle, primetite kako piše ovdje, dakle, Hristovi izaslanici, Bog nas opomenje preko nas, u Hristovo ime vas molimo, pomirite se sa Bogom. Ovdje piše, pomirite se, spojite se ponovo sa Bogom. For he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Njega koji nije učinio greh, Bog radi nas učinio grehom, da u njemu budemo Božja pravednost. We are his righteousness. When people see us, they should see Jesus Christ. You can be seated. What, I, what I'm wanting to talk to you about, it, as I said, I want to talk to you about the word condemnation. Ono o čemu sam htio da pričam sa vama je reč ovo pomirenje. Because there's a voice that will try to speak to you to try to stop you from making that decision for Jesus. It's going to tell you you're not good enough, you don't have what it takes. It's going to tell you you're not tall enough, you're not smart enough, you're not, you're not strong enough. That is called the voice of condemnation. It wants you to believe that you can't do what God has called you to do. 
Želi da vas navede da verujete da ne možete da radite ono za što vas je Bog pozvao da radite. Some of you might have even heard those words as I'm preaching or while you were worshiping. A neki od vas ste možda već čuli te reči dok ja propovedam ili dok smo slavili. There might have been thoughts in your mind, why am I doing this? I'm not worth it. I don't, I'm not worthy to lift my hands. Uh, možda ste se zapitali zašto ja ovo ovdje radim. Ja nisam dostojan do, do svega ovoga. Nisam dostojan da dižem svoje ruke. And that is a lie from the pit of hell. Amen. A to je laž iz bakla. There is no truth in the enemy, the adversary, the devil. Amen. A nema istine u uh, djavolu. The Bible says that the thief cometh to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Biblia kaže da je on došao da krade, da ubije i uništi. He wants to get control of your mind so you can't act upon what God has called you to do. On želi da kontroliše tvoj um da ne bi mogao da radiš ono za što te Bog pozvao da radiš. Because the Bible says as a man thinks, so is he or so he becomes. Biblija kaže da ono o čemu čovjek razmišlja to postaje. Whoever has control over your thought life is what you will become. Kogod, šta god ima kontrolu na tvojim mislima, to ćeš da postaneš. However you think is how you act, how you talk, how you walk. Ono o čemu razmišljaš, to ćeš da radiš, o tome ćeš da, tako ćeš da... And Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ has sent me to tell you that He is truth and only in Him is truth. A Isus me je poslao da vam kažem da je On istina i da je samo u njemu ima istine. That you don't have to be beat up by those voices and those lies from the pit. Da ne, mož, ne moraš da budeš uništen sa tim lažima iz pakla. Today we're the voice of da ćemo danas da utišamo vlaz osuđenja. Dozvalit ćemo da padne taj uh, vlaz istine. Isus će da nam dozvoli da uđemo u to, tu novu dimenziju jer je on istina. Verovat ćemo u njegovu reč. Because we know the Bible says that when you are now in Christ, you're a new creature. Jer znamo da Biblija kaže da kada si u Hristu ti si novo stvorenje. And when we understand we were baptized in Jesus' name, we are now a new creature. A kako smo mi shvatili, kršteni smo na ime Isusa Hrista i sada smo nova stvorenja. I've been given His power. Data mi je njegova moć. His authority. Njegov autoritet. His dominion. Ne, njegova vlast. And when I have all those things, I can walk and talk like a new creature. I kada imam sve te stvari, mogu da hodam i govorim kao novo stvorenje. But there's a voice. Ali postoji glas. And it comes and it talks. I dolazi i priča. And the voice likes to become friendly with you. A taj glas voli da bude prijateljski sa vam. Alexa, do you really believe those Bible verses? I kaže, da li stvarno veruješ u sve te biblijske stihove? You're doing good. It kind of sounds like that. That's how he works. That's the enemy trying to get you to doubt and not believe the word of God. To je taj neprijatelj koji pokušava da veruješ u sve te laži. But I've come to tell you that his word is still true. Ali došao sam da vam kažem da je njegova reč istina. And again, you will be changed if you let Jesus Christ change you today, tonight, and tomorrow. In the rest of this week, i u ostatku u ostatku ove nedelje. The way that condemnation works. Naći na koji osuda radi. If you don't know what condemnation is. Ako ne znate šta je osuda. It's the same word as condemning or being condemned. To je ista reč kada ste osuđeni. Meaning like you've got a sentence on you like you're condemned to hell, condemned to death. Kao kazna kada na primjer imate Osuđeni ste da rad na ovu kaznu ili nešto slično. Želim da vam pomognem u razmišljanju. There's only a few voices that will work on your heart and try to try to convince you otherwise the truth. Postoje samo nekoliko glasova koji će pokušati da rade na vašem srcu i da vas odvuku na jednu ili drugu stranu. And of course the main one is condemnation. I taj najvažniji je taj duh osude. The way that we know if Jesus Christ is speaking to us is if it matches up with the Word of God. Način na koji znamo da li nam se Isus obraća je taj da li se to slaže sa njegovom rečom. If a thought comes to you that is not in the Word of God, you better check it real quick. Ako je ako vam dođe neka misla koja se ne slaže sa rečju Božjom, bolje da je još jednom proverite. If you can recognize the source, you'll know who's talking to you. Ako možeš da prepoznaš izvor, značiš ko ti se obraća. An easy way to recognize the source is what are the words saying, and that'll tell you about the source. And lag način kako možeš da prepoznaš da shvatiš koji je izvor je da prostudiraš te reči i shvatićeš. 
Because the whole, the whole purpose is condemnation comes to try to get you to believe things other than the word. Jer svrha osude je osuda dolazi da te navede da razmišljaš uh, reči, rečima, da veruješ rečima koje nisu ovdje zapisane. Especially about yourself. Posebno u vezi sebe. It doesn't want you to believe in yourself. Ne želi da veruješ u sebe. It doesn't want you to believe that Jesus can move through you. A ne želi da veruješ da, može, da Isus može da radi kroz tebe. It doesn't want you to believe that you have what it takes. Ne želi da veruješ da imaš ono što je potrebno. It doesn't want you to believe you can hear from God. Ne želi da veruješ da možeš da čuješ Boži glas. It doesn't want you to believe that when you read the word of God you receive revelation. A ne želi da veruješ kad, da kada čitaš uh, reč Božju uh, primaš otkrivenje. I'm getting excited. Is this helping anyone? Ja, malo sam uzbuđen, jer ovo nekom je pomaže. We're going somewhere. Idemo negdje. I want you to think about this. Želim da razmislite o ovome. We're going to slow down for a minute. Malo si da usporim. If the voice is coming to you and telling you all these lies condemning you, Ako vam dolazi neki glas i govori vam sve ove laži ko osude, could that possibly be Jesus? Da li je moguće da je to Isus? No, why? Ne, zašto? Because the Bible says that he is the judge, Jesus Christ. Jer Biblija kaže da je on sudija, Isus Hrist. He is the judge. On je sudija. He is the judge. On je sudija. So think about this. Tako da razmislite o ovome. If a voice is trying to pass judgment on you, Ako, uh, taj glas želi da, uh, vas osudi. the word of God says there, are, there is once appointed a time for a man to die, then the judgment. So you will be judged the day that you die. Tako da ćeš biti osu, uh, suđen i uh, kada umreš. The, the adversary wants you to believe that you're already damned and judged now. A djavo želi da veruješ da si osuđen i uh, mrtav sada. Because if he can get you to believe that, jer ako može da te navede da veruješ u to, then you'll walk around like that. Onda ćeš tako i da hodaš. You'll walk around like you've already been judged and sent to the wrong place. Uh, hodaćeš onako kao da si već osuđen i poslan u smrt. I'm trying to help you to recognize the thoughts that are coming to your heart and your, the feelings to you. Želim da vam pomognem da prepoznate one osjećaje, onaj glas koji dolazi do vas. Because if you can recognize that, God will do some mighty things in your life because you're not going to have that voice having any power over you. Jer ako naučite to da prepoznate, Bog će moći velike stvari da radi kroz vas jer te, te reči neće uticati na vas. The Bible says he's the father of lies. Biblija kaže da je on uh, otac života. The Bible says he's the accuser of the brethren. Oh, okay. He's the accuser of the brethren. On je optužitelj uh, braće. Because if he can lie and accuse you and get you to believe it. Jer ako on može da vas uh, laže i optuži i da vas navede da verujete u to. He's got you where he wants you. On uh, vas ima tamo gdje vas želi. But I believe tonight. Ali ja verujem večeras. In our first night of youth camp. Uh, na, u, na We're going to declare to Jesus Christ. Uh, u, u ime I take authority with that spirit of condemnation. Uh, vlast nad tim duhom osude. I bind that lying spirit. Tog, uh, duha laži. I take authority of every lie that would come against me and try to tell me I can't be what God has called me to be. Doći će vlast i sila koja je važna za tvoj duhovni život. I osjetit ćeš kako pomaznanje dolazi na tebe. Koje će te osnažiti ne samo za sad. But for when you go home too. Nego i za vrijeme kada odeš kući. Because that voice might not talk a whole lot right now. Jer taj glas možda ne govori mnogo sada. But I can guarantee you, guarantee you one thing. Ali mogu jednu stvar da vam garantujem. The second you pack your bags on Friday and you head home. A u trenutku kada spakuješ svoje stvari u petak i odeš kući. Somebody understands what I'm saying in here. The second. Neko razume o čemu pričam. You get on that bus, you get on that in that car. U, uh, u tom trenutku kada uđeš u taj autobus ili uđeš u taj ta auto. Everything that happened at youth camp. Sve što se desilo na omladinskom kampu. Starts to be challenged by that voice. Počet će da bude izazivano tim glasom. But if we can get a hold of Jesus now. Ali ako možemo da se uhvatimo za Isusa sada. I feel the Holy Ghost in this place. Počet se uhvatimo da se uhvatimo za Isusa sada. 
uhvatimo za Isusa Hrista večeras. We're gonna set the record straight and say, devil, tonight is not happening. Reći ćemo djavolu, djavolu večera se, to neće desiti. When I get home, I'm never gonna be the same. Kada odem kući, nikada neće biti učin. I'm going home mention one last thing to you. You've got that understanding. God can change you here at Youth Camp. The enemy has no power over your mind and your heart. Because when you've been baptized in Jesus' name, you've been covered by the blood of Jesus. And then when you get filled with the precious gifts of the Holy Ghost, that's God filling with His power and His holiness. You get baptized and put you in Jesus. Then you get the Holy Ghost to put Jesus in you. You're covered, you're protected, you've got the anointing and power of God inside of you. Prekriven si, zaštićen, imaš pomazanje i snagu Svetog Duha u tebi. If you have not received the gift of the Holy Ghost, you can receive it tonight. Ako nisi primio dar Svetog Duha, možete da primiš da tebi. If you need it, I'm telling you, do not leave this place till God fills you with the gift of the Holy Ghost. And I'm telling you, you will be filled. We're going as far as God will take us. And he'll take us as far as we'll let him take us. Who wants to go to deeper places in the spirit this week? Ko želi da ide duplje u svetom duhu? Who's hungry for visions and prophecies? Ko je gladan za vizijama i proroštvima? Who's hungry for the gifts of the Spirit, the anointing of God? Ko je gladan za pomazanjem svetim duhom? Who wants to see the miraculous and people healed by the power of Jesus? Ko želi da vidi 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 da Bog može da nas odvede samo toliko koliko mu dozvolimo da nas odvede. Bog može da te nosi samo toliko daleko koliko mu dozvoliš da te nosi. Ali postoja otvorena vrata ogromna vrata za one koji žele da prođu kroz ta vrata. Govorim o pokretu nadprirodnog. Govorim o tome da se dese stvari koje nikada niste videli. If you will believe it and step out in faith this week, you will see it. Ako verujete i skoračite u veri, vidjet ćete to. God wants to open up your imagination to see things in your city you've never seen before. Bog želi da probudi vašu maštu da vidite stvari u ovom gradu koje nikada niste vidjeli. Some of you will be sleeping and God will give you visions while you're here on this campground. Neki od vas ćete da spavate i Bog će da vam da vizije dok budete spavali. Some of you will begin to pray for your friends and prophecies will begin to flow. Neki od vas ćete moliti za svoje prijatelje i proroštvo će krenuti da teče. I speak that in the Holy Ghost. Believe it and receive it and God will do it. To govorim u svetom duhu. I want you to say it again. I will never be the same. 
Želim da ponovo to kažete. Ja neću biti isti. I will never be the same. Ja neću biti isti. When you've been baptized, you have received the righteousness of God. Kada ste bili kršteni, primili ste primili ste pravednost Božju. The innocence of God. Nevinost Božju. That means that you could literally kill somebody. To bukvalno znači da možete da ubijete nekoga. Don't do it, please. Ne možete to da radite, molim vas. But really, you you could have done that. Then you get baptized. Ali stvarno, moglo je da se desi da ste to uradili, onda ste bili kršteni. Pokrali ste se za svoje grehe. I Biblija kaže da vas on čini pravednim. Da li to znači da nećete imati posledice onoga što ste uradili? Naravno da ne. Biće posledica. But in God's eyes, He sees you as a white slate, perfect, clean. Ali u Božim očima on vas vidi čistim, bijelim. If you receive it by faith. Ako to primite kroz veru. Problem is a lot of times we'll get baptized or filled with God's Spirit. A problem je u tome što se često dešava da smo kršteni i ispunjeni svetim duhom. And we'll stop there, not understanding the power that is inside of us. I tu stajemo jer ne razumemo snagu koja je u nama. That Holy Ghost experience and that baptism experience was just the beginning. To iskustvo krštenja i primanja Svetog Duha je samo početak. There is a power and authority that you now have that you can now activate inside of you. Postoji snaga i autoritet koji ti imaš i koji možeš da aktiviraš u sebi. It's about understanding what you've got. To radi se o tome da shvatiš šta imaš. Some of you might be saying, Mike, what does this have to do with what you said in the beginning of the message? Neki od vas se pitate, Mike, kako je ovo povezano sa onim što si na početku rekao? It has everything to do with it. Skroz je povezano. Because you got to make the decision. Jer moraš da doneseš odluku. To commit. Da se posvetiš. And to become righteous with Jesus by repentance again. I da postaneš pravedan kroz Isusa Hrista. Ponovo. Take that step of faith. Načini taj korak vere. And what will begin to happen in your life will be transformation if you continue to speak it and believe it by faith. I ono što će se desiti u tvojom životu je transformacija ako dozvoliš i počneš to da izjavljuješ u veri. Doesn't matter how far you've strayed or if you've been living for God your whole life. Nije važno koliko daleko si otišao ili si živio za Boga ceo svoj život. Let's go to another level. Hajde da idemo na sljedeći nivo. Let's let Jesus take us to deeper places. Hajde da dozvodimo Isusu da nas odvede na dublja mesta. Because when I go to him and say Jesus forgive me, make me innocent. Jer kada ja odem ka njemu i kažem Isuse oprosti mi, znači ni me ne vidim. No matter what I've done. Bez obzira šta sam uradio. No matter where I've gone. Bez obzira gde sam otišao. No matter what I've said or thought. Bez obzira šta sam rekao ili pomislio. God's innocence kicks in. Božja ta nevinost uđe u mene. And he doesn't see you as a sinner. I on te ne vidi više kao grešnika. He sees you as a new creature. On te vidi kao novo stvorenje. You are new in him. Nov si u njemu. But you gotta believe it. Ali moraš da veruješ. You gotta receive it. Moraš to da primiš. Some you need to let Jesus make you new again tonight. Neki od vas morate da dozvolite Isusu da vas načini novim ponovo večeras. Those miracles and those gifts of the Spirit, they will happen this week. Ta čuda i ti darovi duha će se desiti ove nedelje. Ali neke stvari moramo da ostavimo kod oltara. Moramo da donesemo neke odluke danas. I believe in the faith and the excitement, it's awesome. Ja verujem u to uzbuđenje. But I can't have the faith and the excitement without the altar. Ali ne mogu da imam tu veru i to uzbuđenje bez oltara. And I need to find the altar before I can see the gifts and the power and the authority. I moram da nađem taj oltar prije nego što vidim sve te darove i tu slavu. And God will do it, but we must let Him work in us. I Bog će to da učini, ali moramo da mu dozvolimo da On to radi kroz nas. I'm asking you in the Holy Ghost to begin to surrender your will to God and watch what He will do. Tražim od vas samo da predate svoju volju Isusu i da gledate šta će On da radi. Because when you begin to surrender, you begin to take authority of the voice of condemnation. Jer kada počnete da se predajete, uzimate taj glas od osude. You'll begin to see all those great things happen. Vidjet ćete sve te stvari kako se dešavaju. All those great things we were just talking about. Sve te predivne stvari o kojima smo upravo govorili. God wants you. Bog želi tebe. More than you even understand or realize. Is there anybody in this place 
that's at the moment or the realization that I can go so much deeper. I was baptized in his name. I have his innocence and his righteousness. And I've been beating myself up over my past and the things I've done or, or haven't done. And I want Jesus to make me whole again. I want to give my heart to him again tonight. But this time I want it to be different. I want to give him my whole heart. And understanding that if I fall, I'll just get back up again. The Bible says a righteous man falls seven times, but he gets up again. Biblia kaže da pravedan padne sedam puta i ustane osam. Falling is not failing. You might have fallen flat on your face. The fall might have hurt. But Jesus is saying, I'm here and I'm merciful. Get back up, let's go. We will silence the voice of combination. And we're going to get up and go where Jesus wants to take us tonight. Is there anybody that's with me that's saying, you know what? I don't have the Holy Ghost, but I want to receive it right now. Is there anybody in this place that's saying, you know what? I've been beating myself up and I'm letting this voice beat myself up, but I'm no longer going to let that happen. Dali postoji ovdje neko koji kaže krivio sam sam sebe i dozvolio sam da me ovaj glas okrivljuje, ali neću to više da dozvolim. Is there anyone in this place that says, you know what, I kind of strayed a little bit, but today I want to make that decision. Dali postoji ovdje neko koji kaže malo sam otišao sa puta, ali želim večeras da donesem tu odluku. My appetite's been a little bit full of the world, but I want to get full of Jesus again. Bio sam hranjen jako svetom, ali želim ponovo da budem na hranjen Isusom. Is there anybody where the, I feel the Spirit of God in this place? It's going to begin to move. It's going to begin to prick your heart. And as you begin to open yourself up, Jesus is going to begin to flood your heart. <laughs> Jesus will begin to flood your heart if you will open yourself up to Him again. If we can all stand in this place. Jesus. Just close your eyes in this place. I'm sick of getting beat up. I'm sick of listening to those voices that lie to me. The same voice that lied to Adam and Eve. That made them hid. The voice of the enemy, the condemnation. It's the same voice that tries to speak to us. Because if we listen to the voice of condemnation, it tries to push us away from his presence. When I do wrong or I mess up, I need to run to Jesus. Not away because of shame. You see, Adam and Eve were our example in the beginning of what it looks like in the church today. How there's a separation that begins when I make mistakes. It makes me run and hide. It makes me fear God. You see, just like Jesus did it for me at 17 years old. Ali vidite kao što je Isus to uradio za mene sa 17 godina. Here it comes. Here comes Jesus right now. You can feel his presence. Dolazi Isus. Možete da osjetite njegovu prisutnost. He's wanting to move mightily. On želi da se kreće snažno. Just like he did it for me in an altar just like this one. Kao što je to učinio za mene na altaru slično ovome. I hurt people, hurt myself. Made mistakes, didn't do what I was supposed to do. But a merciful, righteous God looked at me and said, you know what? 
That's all I'm looking for, son. To je sve što tražim, sine. I'm just looking for surrender. Samo tražim predanje. I'm looking for you to give me your whole heart. Samo tražim da mi ti daš celo svoje srce. I don't know what your expectation is. Ne znam koja su tvoja očekivanja. But I have amazing expectation for what God will do this week. Ali ja imam predivna očekivanja šta će Bog da radi ove nedelje. But we need to bring some things to the altar tonight. Ali potrebno je da neke stvari donesemo kao altaru večeras. Because the problem is if we're holding on to some things. Jer problem je ako zadržavamo neke stvari. It opens the door for condemnation. To otvara vrata za osudu. The Bible says that sin lieth at the door. Biblia kaže da greh leži pred vratima. Those voices will pound your head and your mind over the things you've done or haven't done. A ti glasovi će da napadaju tvoju glavu sa stvarima koje si uradio ili nisi uradio. But when you lay it all on the altar, not with emotion, but spiritually. Ali kada sve to staviš na altar, ne sa emocijama, nego duhovno. The righteousness and the peace of God is going to settle on you. Pravednost i taj mir Boži će da se spusti na tebe. The blood of Jesus will cover you again. A krv Kristova će da te prekrije ponovo. You'll be able to hold your head up high. I bit ćeš u mogućnosti da podigneš visoko svoju glavu. And know that you're his son and he's your father. I da znaš da si ti njegov sin i da je on tvoj otac. What you feel in this place is not emotion. Ono što osjećaš na ovom mestu nisu emocije. There's a sovereign move of the Holy Ghost right now that's trying to sweep in this place. Ovdje je suveren pokret Boži koji pokušava da promeni ovo mesto. But God is looking for some empty vessels to empty themselves out. Ali Bog traži neke posude koje će isprazniti sebe. And I'm telling you right now, if you begin to do that, you are going to feel an anointing rock this place. I kažem vam da ako počnete to da radite, osjetit ćete pomazanje kako pomera ovo mesto. We might not be shouting or dancing tonight. Možda nećemo vikati ili plesati večeras. But we're getting a hold of Jesus in a new way. Ali hvatamo se za Isusa na novi način. We're laying it all down tonight so he can send us one day. Not one day or far off, I'm talking after the week is over. I want you to begin to lift your hands in this presence right now. If you have the Holy Ghost, I want you to let the Holy Ghost flow. Ako imaš svijetog duha, dozvoli svijetom duhu da teče kroz tebe. Don't worry about the person to your left or to your right. Ne brini za ljude oko tebe. Just focus on Jesus.